Fourth all-time meeting between Portland and Stanford. The card owned the series 3-0, and they will get the opening possession here. Stanford looking to bounce back from a tough loss against Gonzaga on the road in Spokane. Talana Lapolo running the point. She'll get it back. Was Donna for three. Rattles out. Break the board. Break the put back. Well, they want to get Bozgana going. This is that one, but inside, this is a team that will absolutely demolish you on the offensive board. Stanford is plus 20 on the board so far this season. Cameron Brink with a rare miss from the free throw line, shooting more than 96% from the charity stripe on the season, has made a major effort to improve in that regard. Mikel Meek running the point for Portland. Head coach Michael Meek's daughter, that three off line, very often with the rebound. Stanford with the long miss. Oh, Cameron Brink is just really happy to be out there and feeling good. Brink did not play in the second half of that Gonzaga game after dealing with an illness. Certainly her presence was missed in that matchup. The fake there by jump. Brink, baseline jumper falls. Cameron Brink with the opening basket. It's really clear that Gonzaga played an outstanding basketball game in front of a packed house up in Spokane over... I think 6,800 people in the house. It was quite the setting for the upset. First loss of the season, 96-78. Gonzaga now 21st ranked. They were not ranked at the time. That ball short, but an O board for Portland. Second chance here, Dickey on the drive. Working on Iriopin, tries to put it up. No. The polo to jump from the corner. Shot clock at seven. Burnham driving on jump. Burnham denied. Iriopin cleans it up. The polo now pushing. She'll pull up just outside the elbow. Drains it. Coach May has to take it. He's got to regroup and say, we're going to figure this thing out. A 7-0 start for the Stanford Cardinal. Portland head coach Michael Meek going to try to rally his... Shot from three, high arcing ball falls. Emmy Shearer with the first basket of the game for Portland. Averages 11 a game. It's important for her to get going. All She was preseason all WCC. Zone defense. Oh, what a pass. Dimitri the finish. Dickey for three. No. Goes down to the rebound. He has rebounded well so far this season. Averaging five boards per game, mentioned as Brooke Dimitri knocks it. Dimitri, who's such a great shooter, just parked herself, demands the ball, and comes away with two. Dimitri averaging five points, just over five boards per game. That one comes up short from Cochran. Stretch the floor, and Coach Vanderveer's talking about how much her confidence has increased every season. What have you noticed about Brooke Dimitri's play this year? Well, she just keeps working hard, and the more minutes she gets, the better she gets. Just under 11 points per game. Working on jump. Gets inside. No. Lapolo pushing. Over the top to Brink. Reels it in under pressure. She is fouled. The evolution of Cameron Brink from the free throw line. What type of work did she put in the gym? You can't just shy away and focus on all the things you do well. Brink was shooting just under 63% going into last season from the charity strike. Now a 96% free throw shooter. Truly remarkable. And here's Hamilton. Kicks it back out. And Aniev gets the triple. Talk about a pressure release. I mean, she just came up, squared away. They got her the ball with beautiful timing. And uh, it just relieves a lot of pressure on that bench and on the floor. Naniev, one of several Aussies on this Portland team. Jump. Got it. Touch, but the ability to adjust to the defense with that sidestep, get yourself settled and knock down a quick three. Anna Jump now one three-pointer away from tying Keanu Williams as the all-time career three-point leader in program history. And Naniev, driving baseline, crafty finish. Crafty finish over a great shot blocker in Cameron Brink. That is to inspire others on her team. Stanford, 8 of 8 from the field. Lapolo inside. Gets the roll. Shot clock at 5. It is go time. Hamilton, 1. 
Last opportunity, not in time. Shot clock violation. This Portland team likes to play very high-pressure defense, forced turnovers, but also taking care of the basketball, something that's been a concern. 31 turnovers in their last game against UTEP, something that Coach Meek pointed out they could tighten up. Oh, what a pass. Dimitri lays it in. We'll go into the game over the top. Finds Fraley. Hamilton's shot won't go. Pushing here is Clardy. Aguera. Tough one. Draws the contact. Scored 13 in that matchup despite the cards struggling. And former point guard extraordinaire. Now trainer to the stars. Hamilton under some pressure here from Clardy. Surveying on the elbow is Spear, gets it back inside. Hamilton denied, but the foul is called. Hamilton now going to the line. The redshirt senior guard, more than 11 points and over two steals per game as well, getting it done on both ends. But another piece who's still trying to learn the system, get comfortable with the players around her. When we talk about system, Coach Meek has a system. He loves his zone, a matchup. They like different looks with it. It's, it's, you know, it's tough to adjust to. You've played other styles. This team will get there. Foul called as Brink tried to reel that one in. Coach Vanderveer. Cameron Brink, only player in the country, averaging 18-plus points and 11-plus rebounds and 3-plus blocks per game this season. Five to go. Hamilton. One to go. In traffic, shot from three, misses everything. Big first quarter for the Stanford Cardinal hosting the Portland Pilots. 28-9 the score here after one. Because she just is a great teammate. Dimitri, a Foothill Ranch, California native, was the California Gatorade Player of the Year. Five-star recruit coming out of high school. Steadily grown each season here on the farm. You know that Gonzaga team, that game was big. Both her mom and dad played uh, baseball and volleyball at Gonzaga. So, uh, I'm sure there was some mixed feelings on that one. <laughs> yeah. Turning inside is Shearer. The shot won't fall. Jump pushing. She'll slow it down back to Lapolo. Now, if you're a parent, do you do like half and half? You wear oh, the Gonzaga no. shirt underneath, or I think you're all in on, on the on the kid. I think you're all in on that. All right, I'll trust your judgment as a parent, Mayor. Erie often gets it down low, gets the finish. Turnovers and fouls, something that Coach Tara Vanderveer has honed in on. Turnaround, falls, averaging just under 11 points, 3.2 rebounds per game. Auckland, New Zealand native. That is a beautiful place. Full court pressure there from the pilots. And they like to make some match their presses in their half court zones. Dimitri and Iriafin working on Cochran, puts it up and in. Well, I, I've said this a lot over the years, and that is sometimes you have to work as hard offensively as you do defensively. We talk about digging in on defense and really working hard. If you want to score it, it's a great defensive team. Cameron Brink called for her first. Whoa, turnaround there. Got a little funky by Emmy Shearer. Well, it got funky because it got canned. It's called on Brooke Dimitri as the two of them were working down low. And you can see the foul from behind by Dimitri. But again, there's no reason to be aggressive if you're Dimitri there because you've got the luxury of Cameron Brink behind you. I mean, you can overplay because anything coming at the bucket is going to be thoroughly focused on by Cameron Brink. Polo comes up with a rebound there. Jump. Aguera. No. Brink sent Dickey to the ground. Now she takes a chance. Shearer driving on Lapolo draws the foul. And Courtney Ogden, and I mean, you go to a practice 6 1. The freshman out of Atlanta is going to be a superstar. 13 points was 3 of 6 from beyond the arc against Gonzaga, and it is coming and it is coming fast. One gold at the FIBA U18 Women's America's Championship in Buenos Aires. Is that shot will go. Oh, 
interesting lineup on the floor for Stanford. It's not often you see Brink and Iriopin both sitting. Four on the shot clock. Aguero with one, puts it up, draws the foul. You know Aguero going to the line. And you mentioned Hawkins playing with that international experience just picks. What's the biggest difference between the international game and what you see here in the women's collegiate game in the U.S.? Which is probably pace, the physicality of the game in the U.S. Cochran comes up with the O-board, draws the foul on the mid. Now we'll go to the free throw line. Can the Pilots try to feed her more? She's good mid-range, long range, down low. Out of Melbourne, Australia. Started her career in Oregon, part of that amazing recruiting class, which seems like about a million years ago now. Scramble on the floor. Ball rolls out of bounds. It is going to be Pilot's ball. Last touch by Stanford. Still three and a half to go here in quarter number two. 34-17 Stanford lead. Pilots would love to close the gap before the halftime break. It's just the fourth turnover for Stanford. And this is a Portland team that forces 20 a game. Portland leading the West Coast Conference so far in steals, blocks per game, forcing turnovers per game as well. Eight seconds on the shot clock. That one rolls in. Lapolo's three too strong. Cochran the rebound. Pushing here is Hamilton. Kicks it out. Mogul driving on Bolzgana. Hamilton, oh, what a cut. Ananiev puts it in. Seven points, three of four from the field, one of two from three-point land. Dimitri's shot won't go. Falling there on the rebound and drawing the contact is Aguera. When you're playing Stanford, get Iriafan and Brink into foul trouble. Second one rattles in. Average is just over two and a half per game. Hamilton. It's a nice pass and putting it into Spear. Now 45 to go. Clardy. Out to Dimitri. Eight on the shot clock. Four on the shot clock. Clardy. Steps on the sideline. Turnover. 15 to go. Shearer, 10 to go, working on jump, puts it up and in. 11 point game, Bosgana draws the, does not draw the foul. Hold out of bounds. Pilots now have made four of their last five. 1.7 to go. Almost a volleyball hit there on me. Anania tried to put it up but ran out of time. Still a lot of Portland with the first possession, second half underway. Starters back in the game for both teams. Dickey, an aggressive drive and lay in. When you have some success in the first half, that's what it breeds, and that is Dickey. She just finds angles and made some adjustments so she didn't get blocked. Portland now going into the full court press, cutting the deficit to single digits here. They have fought halfway back. They were down 18 at the end of the first quarter. Down 21 early in the second. Bosgana gets the foul and one opportunity. Dickey finds an angle and just explodes the bucket. Gets by Iriafin. The adjustment late by Brink. And then Bosgana. Terry, where she has gotten much, much better. Just take it down a notch. Don't be in such a hurry all the time. Senior national team also played in a number of youth events as well. A player who brings in the international experience. Yeah, a year ago she spent a lot of time just shooting every time she got in the ballgame. Now she's defending at a higher level and she's rebounding. See the vast improvement. Sure, though, caught up. Somehow gets it over Bozgana. Bozgana for three, no. Green trying to run down that O'Boy. Chance for here to Portland to make it a single deficit game once again. Cochran on the drive, denied. 
We've got a piece there up ahead to Iriafin. Great catch by Iriafin, the pass by Lopolo. Acrobatic move, won't fall. Pushing here. Meek for three. Off iron. So for Portland, you have two opportunities to cut the lead. Iriafin now driving on Dickey. Her third. Foul called. It's her third. She just knows how to position herself. Last season, 251 rebounds, ranked third in the conference. Rebounding average was fourth. And getting it done down low. Can't get that one, though. Battling. Called a jump ball. Around the horn. Entry pass attempt denied. Showing Seven eight. on the shot clock. Brink doubled. Three to go. Gets it to fall. Stanford League. Brink now with 10. Cochran. Oh, what a block. Brink now pushing. I can block twice in a row. Brink says I'll do it on the other end. And one. Brink puts it on the floor. Nice, graceful, one-footed move. And then what a pass by Lapolo and the finish. Naismith Trophy watch list player and every other watch list pretty much that's out there. You pointed out the opportunity to be the best player in the country this season. Well, we've played three minutes so far in this quarter, and she has five points, two rebounds, and a block. As she sinks the free throw, extending Stanford's lead to 15. And again, you go back to those three possessions where Portland can't get it into single digits, and Stanford just blows it right back up. Two-plus-minute scoring drought here for the Pilots. Shot clock at nine as that one's up and in. Sheer now with double digits. She's having a great game. Just floats and finds an open angle. 12 points on five of eight shooting and three rebounds. You can see the double team on break saying he passed it to someone else. Dimitri drives and gets it. Beautiful release from high to low. Lapola with a great feed right to the bucket. Player whose name we have not said yet, junior guard Maisie Burnham has been kept scoreless so far despite leading the team in scoring alongside Shearer, averaging just under 11 points per game. Hamilton. And some extended run off the bench. Shot clock at six. And Nadia puts it up and lays it in just before that shot clock expires. Beautiful, beautiful drive from the high post. Demetri, a very solid defensive player. Oh, what a pass. The timing on that, just impeccable. The terrific four-time freshman of the week in the WCC going to work with all that length at 6-1. And then at the other end, just the beautiful dime from Lapolo into Brink. The beauty of being able to pass with both hands takes away a lot of steals. Foul called on the floor. Dimitri from three, it's offline. Nani is pushing. Hamilton gets in the paint, no. Brink bringing the ball up. Loses the handle, turnover. Pushing ahead. And Naniyev nicely off Hamilton to lay in. Beautiful job running it back by the pilots. They are feeling so much more comfortable. Pilots trailing by 13, really good out in transition. With the double double, 13 points, 11 rebounds. Almost. They were trailing by nine in the fourth quarter. Coach Meek talked about his team's ability to stay with it. Shiro on Dimitri. Shot clock at five. Is gone to the rebound. Polo now pushing. Jump a deep three. Got it. We said do not leave her open. Hannah Jump has her third triple of the game. She now has tied Kiana Williams for the most career three-pointers in program history. 
311 is the number. That also ties her for fourth all-time in Pac-12 history as well in career threes. So there's a scramble on the floor. Cardinal come up with it, Dimitri. Stanford starts making threes. The entire game changes. Oh, but that was a nice Stanford on a 7-0 run in just about the last minute and a half. Hamilton driving inside. Denied by break. She almost blocked that out to the street. Cameron Brink says hello and goodbye. Someone go find that ball. Cameron Brink with her third block of the game. Some contact, no foul. Ananiev appears to be in some pain here. Whistle does blow. Brief pause in play. She took some contact there as she was handling the ball. The freshman, Diani Ananiev, in some pain. And Dover, hopefully she's okay. Left arm of Hannah Jones getting her shoulder checked out there on the bench. A technical foul has been called. Michael Meek has been called for a technical, and he's called for a tech. Well, as a former coach, I certainly understand the emotion of uh, just giving the officials a piece of your mind when you see one of your best players in that much pain, and it happens right in front of you. Brink misses the first, makes the second. Jump. Both Good done. Save. Great hands. Jump for three. No. Brink saves it. Dimitri couldn't put it up and in. Pushing here is Hamilton. Easy Burnham averaging just under 11 points, two and a half boards per game. Has a thousand career points as Boscana says, I'll do Jump knocking down threes. Boscana knocking down threes. Lapolo looking for her outside game. Boscana now with six. Mogul driving on her. Gets caught up. Burnham. No. Brink fighting for the rebound. Gets the call. Nine rebounds. She's the second leading uh, rebounder on the Stanford team tonight. Brink sinks the second. Thirteen to three run for the card. Bosgana putting in the hustle, making those tough plays. It is a career high. Eight was her previous career high. She did it against Hawaii. 11-point game early on in this third quarter has been blown open by the card. Here's the full-court press from Portland. Aguera up ahead to Brink. Gets the foul. So you think about Chine Gwumike and Neka Gwumike. Just bigs that can really bust it down the It's floor. not just in the low post. They're able to get out in transition. And they can run. Is Hamilton. Dickey driving on Brink. Too easy. Arizona. 51, just solid, top to bottom for the Pac-12. Realistically, how many Pac-12 teams do you think make the NCAA tournament this season? You know, to me, it's just it's just way too early to talk about that, but uh, I will talk about a great pass. All right, fair enough. Won't put you on the spot for any more predictions. It is very early, but the Pac-12 loaded with talent. 63-38, Stanford with a big lead. Dickey can't get the lay-in. Cameron Brink with another rebound that third quarter at 11 points, two blocks, six boards after having to sit a big portion of quarter number two. And she said, why not add in a three? This rattles out, though. Well, I'm sure playing for a coach that she grew up with that taught her so much about the ball game, it's just really helping to motivate her even more. Not that Cam needs additional motivation. Sinks. Dallo lays it up, gets the foul. Dallo misses her first. This is the second as well. Erie off in the rebound. Erie off 
laughing. The move inside. Oh, let's get her the ball. Nice feed inside. Oh, an acrobatic shot. We offered the rebound. Pushing. Off to Aguera. Erie up and up and in. You pointed out revision and ability to facilitate. Burnham's three won't go. Bostana pushing now. Over the top to Iriafin. Great catch. Draws the foul. A lot of people talking about how Kiki Iriafin was one of the most underrated. When she's on the floor, the foul trouble certainly hurting her tonight. That free throw offline. Iriafin is on 73 plus percent shooting and 12 rebounds. Another big stop. Bostana gets the lay in. And for continuing to pad the lead at 72-38 here. Your coach Tara Vanderveer, what do you like about your team's response? As there's a block from Dimitri, but a foul is called. Fraley makes the first free throw, makes the second. I think it's the whole thing. It's the reps, it's the confidence. Jump coming back is a graduate so many. And one last curtain call is there's a foul called. Nadia, they're on the bench. We haven't seen her back in the game, but certainly hopeful that she's okay. Has not returned, but looks to be in better spirits. Initially, was clearly visibly showing that she was in pain. After sitting out for quite some time with some foul trouble. A lot of youngsters in here getting some experience for Portland as well as Fraley gets that one up. Party up ahead to Aguera, lays it in. What the ability to get to the line. Gallo trying to fight for positioning in there. Big three though. That's a good looking shot. Portland shooting 24% from three as Kiki tries to lay it in. Three line. Dallo driving inside. Nice finish. If you're a freshman, how much confidence does it give you to come out against the Cardinal on their floor and to put up baskets inside like that? I just think it, it's just a great experience. There's no one there to throw it in. Their green goes over. Papadaki also into the game. Feed inside. Aguera spinning. No. She wanted that one. That was a beautiful move. Kick out. Dello on the drive. Gets the end one. Six points a game. This is the free throw, though, at 10 points, two boards against Oregon, another Pac-12 foe back at the end of November. Oh, how about Ghost to Ghost, though? Coming up on the 20th, before Pac-12 play begins, they play in California as that foul is called. Washington State and Washington, two teams you pointed out in the net ratings, right hanging around the top 31. Cal played this morning slash this afternoon. They beat Eastern Washington. They have moved to 9-2. And, and in that game, Marta Suarez, 17 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists. And Michelle Onya off the bench, 12 points and 8 rebounds. Suarez, a huge addition. The transfer has been the Tennessee transfer. California continuing to look much improved. However, for Stanford, during this last stretch, the final few tune-ups before Pac-12 play, what does this team need to focus on to find two things? Improve the balance inside to out. Iriafin with 13 now. Iriafin steals it away. We're going to have to have a special season to win this last and final Pac-12 conference title when you have Utah, UCLA, USC, the list goes on and on, Colorado. Stanford, the reigning Pac-12 regular season champions. Going up against quite the competition. Five seconds to go. Portland's going to have a great year. 
81-51, the Stanford Cardinal with a massive win over the Portland Pilots, bouncing back from their first loss of the season against Gonzaga 12 days ago, take down their West Coast Conference foe.